This is an introduction to how to use Ansible with PowerEdge 14G servers. It will go through the installation of Ansible from source as well as how to install the um, SDK for OpenManage and the additional OpenManage modules for Ansible to allow more uh, configuration options. Now we just download Ansible from uh, GitHub and then we do some uh, housekeeping with Python to um, point everything to Python 3. And finally we install pip, because that is uh, needed for installing the requirements for uh, both Ansible itself and some of the modules. So we go into the Ansible folder and we install the requirements. And once that's done, we can run the actual installation of Ansible, and we do that as root. Now by default, we do have a fair amount of modules included, specific specifically with this newer version of Ansible. Uh, they are there by default, so let's just verify what modules are currently included in our installation. We do that by using Ansible doc. Now we're going to add a fair amount of all, uh, modules to this by installing the, the open manage modules for, that is also on GitHub. So we clone that repository. All of these links I will put in the description for the video, so you can just uh, go there to copy and paste. So once we downloaded that, we um, can quite easily run the, uh, the install of the open managed modules. We do that as root as well. So now, once we have this done, it's possible for us to verify that uh, those new modules have been included. If you remember the list from before, that has now been significantly increased. Now there is something called SCP or Server Configuration Profiles and that is a method for exporting all of a server's settings as a text file. Now that can very easily be imported to other servers so you can create a golden image of all the settings that you wish to have and then you can import that into you know tens or hundreds or thousands of servers if you wish. It is an extremely powerful way to um, control settings and establish baselines for servers. So in order to do that, we need to install the uh, OpenManage SDK. So we download that from GitHub as well. And then we follow the instructions on GitHub to run the actual build and final installation. And of course, remember to run that with pip3, since we're using Python 3 in this case. Now, we have installed essentially everything that is required. However, since we installed from source, we don't have the slash etc Ansible directory that we need for the configuration file, as well as the host file for Ansible. Therefore, we create that manually. And then we go to the examples directory, which is included with our Ansible uh, download from Git earlier. And then we can copy the host and configuration files from there to slash GDC Ansible. Now, in order to use the playbooks that we have for our PowerEdge servers, we need to have a special format, essentially including the base URI, which is the IP address of the servers, and the username and password. Now, I'll upload this as well so you can easily apply this. We basically append that to the hosts file that we have in the slash EDC Ansible directory. And with that, you are essentially ready to run.